Hello and welcome. I've got this 12 volt quad today. It runs in a little 12 volt battery there. As you can see in there. It works like so, you know, whatever. But the battery life ain't great. So we have got a better solution. We're going to convert it to DeWalt batteries today. I need to convert the quad to one of these. Is one of these battery connectors. A little over discharge protection board. This board will protect the battery from over discharging. It will keep it from getting too low. We can set her to a voltage that will cut off. So it won't get too low to recharge. And because the quad's 12 volt. And this is 18 volt when setting it nominal charge. And 20 volt when it's fully charged. We need to drop the voltage. And that's where this comes on. So if we had this all fitted into the quad. We would have a finished job. Get under the under the hood, as they say. What we have to do is we're gonna probably I'm gonna probably keep this battery in it in case he wants to go back to the original design and leave it not completely butchered. I'm probably gonna put the battery holder there and try and get as much room if he wants to put a big flex volt in or something. So I'm gonna have to wire it all up on there, but first of all probably need to take this out over here this is what we need what we're going to do is work backwards from this connector because this is the connector that outputs the 12 volt to here so we'll have to take the output and the voltage dropper and connect the black to the blue and the red to the yellow. I could have soldered these on permanently, but I decided to go down the road of leaving them removable if the owner of this wonderful vehicle ever wants to go back to the original system. Previously stated, we're working backwards here. So we're going to the plus or minus out of the voltage over discharge protection board. And we'll just get the, you can see it's clearly marked, there's a plus there and a minus there. So we'll just have to put them on. Um, the next part is to connect the battery connector to the other end, the input side. But before we do that, I'm going to go back to the vehicle itself to see how this all fits in. And to see how much, much cable we actually need between this board and this, and what we were going to work it. And I could have the board mounted up here, and uh, just the battery connector beside it. 
So this is probably going to be in close proximity to this. So we don't need any additional cable. Just a matter of putting this onto the board. Just directly. So this is all connected. The battery goes on here, goes into the voltage over discharge protection board, goes onto the voltage dropper which drops it down to 12 volts and comes out here and goes onto the, the motor, well the switch followed by the motor of the vehicle. So hopefully that'll sort it all out here. Right, with a lot of carry on, we've got that hot glued on, we've got a screw securing that voltage board and we have secured the battery adapter as well. I made the decision to screw it in here because I think we want to leave as much room for as big a battery as we can slide in there. The biggest battery will be an AM. I think that'll slide in. But we'll try it when we have have it sorted out here. Right, we have the battery connector repositioned here and hopefully we can accommodate the 9 amp battery and get the lid on. Yes, it's workable. So I think that's a success there. I need to set the board to the right voltage. We're going to have her cutting off at probably 16.9, I would say. I think we'll keep her at that. So there we are, all wired up. her now. So here's the road test. Yeah. Definitely that's that's working well. That's pretty good. Conversion complete. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.